Hello everybody, welcome back to No Man's Land with our super hard Let's Play series. This is going to be episode 2 of basically trying to make a living out here uh, on the farm. So, uh, last time I said we were going to finish up doing our, uh, just like the section we had already mowed down. Uh, so we did indeed do that, and then we also uh, got the forage wagon out on it. So you can see we've got a nice cleaned up patch over yonder. So now what we're doing is we are looking, we're taking some additional cuts out here. Um, I think last time we discovered that it takes about five passes to fill up our forage wagon. Uh, and with that information, we know that there's 16,000 liters in the forage wagon. So I'm thinking once we get like 10, if we get 10 passes here, I'm going to be a happy camper. So uh, I think we're just, we'll bring uh, we'll bring you back here once we have pretty much finished up our 10 rows. We are now wrapping up on the lower section here. That is 10 additional passes that we had not made before. That is, I mean, just looking at it, we're hoping to get the trailer filled up two more times. Uh, and with that, we'll probably cover up the silage. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. I'm really, I'm anticipating a decent haul in our first go around here. Oh, got to get some more height here. There we go. I'm going to lower the pickup. Okay, it does hit. That is good. This is looking great. Uh, I'm considering a time lapse for this because this is going to be a lot of down and back. Let us do a time lapse. Here we go. <laughs> found ourselves 98% full on the second run through. I mean, we could see if we can dig ourselves up another. Just, we only need like another 20. Oh, I was up. We only need like another 200 total. So, looks like we're going to get there though. There we go. We are full, full that is a lot. Um, as we take a peek here, you can see there's really nothing in here that we're going to be affording anytime soon. Um, a small plow or something like that, I think would truly interest us, but I don't think we can be bothered by it right away. So for now, I think what we're gonna do, let us drive this in yeah, that is heavy realism right there. That's what we like to see. I know how to crash. That is all I know. It looks like it's kind of pushing it out this way. Can we get this trailer up? I just don't want to spill a whole bunch out. Like one of the fronts. Because as we go to compact, it's going to want to squeeze. And I just don't want to lose a whole bunch uh, due to that mechanic. Uh, and there you go. We see our gas has, or our fuel has just hit the red. That is a mildly unfortunate, 
as we can see. Uh, we could also, in theory, if we want, we could structure the game such that every single episode is a month. I feel like that might make it a little bit slow, though, because there will be months where we're literally doing nothing, just kind of waiting. And I don't know if that's something that would be interesting or not. I think it'd be more interesting just to kind of structure it by amount of work. That way, if there's times with a lot of work, we can let it be, so to speak. Okay. We're going to leave the loading wagon right here. And we're going to try to get this to compact. This is going to take us a little while, I think. Because we are not that heavy, and there is a lot in here. Yeah, we're going to bury ourselves in chaff. This is not how this is supposed to go. Um, I will... Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, I was like, uh, how did I manage this? Man, this is insane. I kind of want to put the, uh, the lawnmower on the back of this. So that we kind of can keep ourselves from just falling down. Hey, there we go. Okay, let's go back the other way. The fact that we got over it once is huge news. Yep, come on. Oh man, it's it's grouchy. We have a hundred thousand liters of chaff in here, which is a hundred thousand liters of silage. Uh, I think that's equivalent to sixteen grand if we get a decent sell price. Man, this is. <laughs> This is the right level of absurd for us. Let's go. Come on, tractor. We are going to be doing this for a while here. I wonder if I just stick to like the edges, if we can get it to drive a little bit smoother, maybe, at least. If I can get this to drive smoother, we're going to be way lucky. I'm just able to actually do this at a decent rate. Yeah, we are going to spill out and there's nothing I'm going to do about it. We're going to take some loss. But uh, it looks like we're going to be compacting for a while. We'll see what kind of... I'll hit it at some speed here. Now that's kind of leveling out. I wonder if we can take the trailer over it. This is probably a terrible idea. But we're going to try it out, and then, uh, depending on how this goes... Is that the, the flame coming out the front of this thing? Let's see how this goes. Come on! Um... We need to get some height on that front pickup. Okay, we're still at 4%. I just, I can't believe how heavy. Like, I mean, we have a lot in here, so it, it's fair. But at the same time, it's like this should not take as long as it's going to take. We're going to suffer for being very outgoing on this one. We're at 5%. And struggling. I mean, the more wheels, the better, you'd think, right? I don't know. Okay, well, um... I think we're looking at a time lapse again. I hate to say it. Uh, we will see you later.
All right, last pass. Here we go. This is hopefully the last pass at this current state. There is 100%, here's the problem. All of this stuff seeped out. So we're gonna pick it up, put it back in. Looks like we lifted ourselves off the ground with the pickup. There it goes. So we're gonna take a really nice steep cut right across the front of this. The wagon's a little bit wider than our back tire, so we're gonna go right here. Oh my gosh, three thousand that's six thousand. We're gonna have a full trailer. Oh, that is so unfortunate. It, it's only unfortunate in the aspect that we will have to compact this some more just to be able to cover it because oh it's so brutal um, as you guys see in the time lapse we had to go get gas running out of gas which was very unfortunate there we go let's get this all scooped up man this thing is getting heavy I'm, I'm on the gas as hard as I can right now I don't know maybe the Wagon's keeping this slow. I'll turn it off for now, maybe? Just for the turnaround. Turn it back on when we're close. Yeah, this thing is working our tractor here. I just want to be able to get most of this. Because we're going to have to compact all of this again. There we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna go from 100% compacted down, notably, because this stuff doesn't count. Uh, here we go. Here we go. It looks like we're still gonna stay at a pretty decent level of compaction. Which I'm really hoping is the case. Let's back up over it. If we can. I don't think we can. We're going to leave it all. That's pretty close to that side of the pit. Let's move forward now. Drop a good chunk on this side. Yeah, drop us basically straight to 80%. It's unfortunate. But uh, we knew this was coming. So let us go back to squashing it all down as we do. And we're back doing the thing. Oh my. Here we go. <laughs> Just like clockwork, never fails. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be I'm hoping for thirteen thousand dollars because it's gonna it's gonna sit for a little bit. But I think best sell times January. The work has been done. Look at that we have spent quite a good chunk of time we have 50 or 95 thousand liters of chaff in the silo here and whew, what a ride that was we got a whole bunch of extra chaff on each end uh what i'm hoping to do let's see oh Wrong button. Want to get this thing going? What I'm gonna do? I was hoping. Oh, don't pick that stuff up. I don't want the grass. Thirty-two liters of grass slowing us down. Classic grass behavior. But I wanted to see if we could pick up this chap that wasn't used. Because that way we could make a little pile for ourselves and use it 
on the next go around. Because we have no reason not to want to pick this stuff up. This stuff is basically money. There we go. Yeah, see, that's 4,300 liters of grass we don't have to harvest. Turned off for a second while we're fighting this big old turn. I don't think it made a difference. Don't think it made a difference. Scoop it up again. Yeah, this is final. Final. We've gotten the majority of the work done on this. Let's take a wide cut here. 7,300 liters of chaff. We're going to put that right here on the side of the silo. Uh, just so we can easily get at it next time we are looking to uh, start compacting again. So let's just kind of leave a thin little line here that we can drive over, hopefully. A little bit more speed, please, tractor. Oh, that's too much. Yeah, that's pretty good. We should be able to drive it for that. Man. Oh. Man. That is going to be some good money. It's 93,000 liters. We're hoping for a sell price of $181. I've got this great mod here. Uh, sell price triggers. What we're going to do is we're going to scroll down. We're going to hit silage here. Uh, we're going to set it to the highest. It's seen 162. We know if it's higher than that. So we're going to set it to 181 it's just going to give us a little notification when prices get that high um so now i'm kind of in between ideas as soon as we go forward a month we will not be able to afford anything we're gonna we're gonna pull an audible we're gonna pull an audible we are going to go forward in time rather quick here um let's see yeah look at that nasty loan interest um, we can take a peek here while we're going forward in time. That is a baler. Bunker silo is done fermenting. <laughs> I mean, that's going to produce square bales. It's $9,000. We can't afford, I want to afford that so bad, but we can't. can't can't cannot oh right now our price is at 166 uh per thousand our grass has one more growth stage let's take a look at if the price is going to go up or down we're october so it's going down we're, we're middle of the road right now we're not going to get a great price. I think what we're going to do is we're going to sell what we currently have. So that way... We, oh, yeah. We're we're moving up in the world here. Uh, open the silos here. We don't have any way to get this mill piece out unless we move it. And we'll see how it goes. But let's pick up... Oh, start the engine... There we go, get some height. Oh, the pickup is. There we go. Turn it on in a second here. Here we go. Let's load up on some silage. Man, this is absurd. A leveler. Okay. We're starting to struggle a little bit, but we got 50% off this side. So I'm thinking we will go to the other side. Oh my gosh. We're, uh, let's see, 19 times 180, 1800 bucks, maybe. So we're still going to be negative after this run. I mean, may, I mean it might be more. 
This isn't the fastest wagon, but it's definitely working. Okay. Word. I mean, that trailer was worth more than I anticipated. It did have 1900 dial joint, though. Wow. Okay. So we won't be able to afford a leveler off of this. Off this trailer. But our next one... I think it's going to get us close. Yeah, $3,100 on that trailer. That is awesome. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to continue. We are going to sell the rest of our silage. Um, I might pick up a leveler just so we are able to get all of the silage out. But that is something you will see next time. Thank you for joining me for the second episode of Farming Simulators 22 No Man's Land Extra Hard, where we start half a million dollars in debt and we work on digging ourselves out of that pit. Um, so again, thanks for watching. I will see you all next time.